Am I cool to drag EG in? Because he's asking in the stream chat. Oh, EG? Yeah, might yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, might as well. Hello. Yo. Hey, hey EG. EG. Your Lingo Kingo. Lingo <laughs> Kingo, I was gonna say. <laughs> your, party, your party has. Your party has a new member. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hey, anyway, how's it going? Yeah, it's going good. I went to see oh. Aladdin today. Oh boy! Right. How was it? It's not that bad, actually. <laughs> Surprisingly good. It's not like superior as the Jungle Book, but it's ten times better than the Beauty and the Beast live action film. At least in my taste. So, yeah, what some... saying, so what you're saying is it's good, but the original is better. Yeah. Yeah, the I'm saying that. The original is still better. Yeah. So, <laughs> nothing, like can top, nothing can top the original, so... So... But this was still... Damn it. So basically every single Disney remake to date. Yeah. <laughs> like, again, also, not, also, all the, not all the live-action remakes can top, can top the original animated classics. Also, I saw a really funny Twitter meme today that mm. also made me feel a little bit sad. Mm. Well, technically what? yesterday now. But it's basically <laughs> it's basically that Disney doesn't seem to be aware that in real life there is more than two breeds of fucking lion. <laughs> I saw that, actually. Oh, I like Morpheus's I got the spazer, uh, bitch! Woo! Woo! Yay! I'm, spazer. I'm starting to like this game a bit more. Once you start to build up all the power-ups, it's a lot more accessible and a lot more fun. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of the map in Metroid 2 is... Copy and paste. Filler. Yeah. Oh god, that looks terrible. Like, it, it's truly one of the things that defined the idea of Metroidvania, but they refined it when they made Super Metroid. Yeah. Yes, you still have your hallways, but it's not a bunch of open space. Yeah, they're identifiable um, parts. Oh. Super duper Metroid. And also, not everything is black and white, so, you know, yeah. bonus. I'll be yeah. very excited one day to just, like, stream Super Metroid. Yeah! Because not That's only... why I was so excited when this game had a fucking remake on the 3DS. Ooh, it was so good. I've been meaning to play more of it, but then I got stuck. I was like, what the fuck? I got stuck too, but, ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I saw it through because, ooh, boy. Oof. It kind of has like Metroid Prime style of visual storytelling mixed in with the exploration of this game, but without like, but with a lot less of the frustration that came with it. So I was like, "Ooh, this makes me so erect." What's going on with the whole Metroid Prime trilogy that's supposed to be releasing on the Switch? Oh, I fucking hope so. I hope oh. I hope it fucking comes out with fucking Metroid Prime 4. Because, ooh. Oh. Yeah, yeah I think I, I'm, really I'm really about to fucking nut, like, really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping to God they make and they make that into reality. The, the, I, yeah, the especially too. for the Switch. Yeah, no, Metroid yeah, Prime the, So, like, like, the thing that really made me excited for Metroid Prime 4, and this is a weird thing to get excited about, but, uh, Essentially, I, I I was browsing fucking Nintendo's tweets, and they were like, "All right, so here's the fucking deal. Uh, we had to completely scrap Metroid Prime Four. I was like, "Oh, well, that kind of sucks, because we're bringing in fucking Retro Studios again, so they can get back on it." I'm like, "Oh, bet." So, <laughs> yeah, when so they mentioned Retro's gonna go back into making Metroid Prime, so I was like, "All right, fucking this this shit's gonna be fucking lit." I'm very happy that they did. They did so, so. And, and I'm fun. glad that they were just they were just transparent about it too. It's like, all right, look, this we we know we didn't fucking establish a release date or anything, but it's honestly it's gonna be a lot fucking longer. So here's the fucking deal. Here's where we're at. Still gonna make a good game. I'm like, you know yeah. what? It, it's Wait, that man. kind of shit that makes me just appreciate Nintendo more than like any other gaming fucking corporation. Definitely agree with you there. Because they're just fucking like if they have a pro like like especially like it it's one of the fucking quotes that one of the uh, I forget who specifically made it but uh 
There, there's, there's an old fucking philosophy in Nintendo where it ah, says, a delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is always bad. Oh, and I know what you're call. Never, I, I know what you're. Yeah, that, yeah, and that's definitely held true in recent years because all these fucking AAA games that have been rushed, fucking put into goddamn crunch time. And they gotta like rely the on the downloadable time. media. What the fuck is this thing? How do I kill it? That's like the same case. Uh, with cup you're, you're trying to kill them with speed, don't no. and efficiency. If you're if you're there wanting to get the ones that are on the wall, use the spider ball, climb up to it, and set the bombs. No, no, there's this weird thing that's got, like, two, like, weird shield-like arms, and it's floating all over the place, and I shot it, and it wasn't doing shit. Well, the shields are gonna block it. Oh, God. Yeah. Also, uh, but, yeah, if you, want a, if you want an example of just how detrimental rushing something can be to an entire franchise, just look at Game of Thrones. Just oh. look at what? I said just look at Game of Thrones. Oh, Ooh. that last season. Uh, oh. Look at look at Anthem. Look at fucking Sonic. <laughs> oh! I remember that. Sh I remember that shit with Anthem during one of the other streams where I was here, and Golden was playing that game where you had to make your way down the mountain, and there's the fucking snow monster thing trying to eat you. And you talking about Ducktales or? No. Or are you the, talking the, about the, Ski Free? Oh, ski -free. yeah, that thing. And I made that little jab at EA about yeah. getting rid of Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> See, I was sitting there, like, I, I was heavily considering when the game was being marketed, I was heavily considering, oh, you know what, I really want to fucking play this because it looks really cool. Really glad that I fucking didn't have money at the time to buy it because it's like, oh, wow, nobody fucking plays it anymore. Fucking, that player base has been declared legally okay, dead. Okay, nowhere to go. <laughs> yeah. Ashes is hilarious. Also, um, hey, E.G., mm. did you, if you saw I posted something on stream chat, oh. I, made a, I made, like, a top ten list. Well, that, also, yeah. I really hope I really hope that freaking that what culture gaming news Damn story it. about that guy who's trying to get loot boxes banned because they're basically gambling. I hope he succeeds. Because you know what? Yeah. What I want to see what happens when EA actually has to start making games to a standard again. Mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, making games and not yeah. just making fucking. There we go. You're not, not making games. Making, you're making gamble games. Fires. Yeah. Uh, yes. Fucking slot I games enjoy with a game attack. Games, not fucking... Yeah, I, I enjoy playing fucking games, not fucking virtual slot machines. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. EA likes that you like that. So, okay, what were you well, saying? Like, like, this is like like ah. EA ah. games nowadays are like the little fucking miniature video game you'd get in a fucking McDonald's Happy Meal and then with a <laughs> big ass slot machine attached to the back of it. Ooh. The, the games you'd get from McDonald's were like, hey, look, these are collector's items, or they could be kind of nifty, or hey, this is Ooh. creepy. Why is this licensed? Hmm. But yeah, I just you were somehow say... still better than Star Wars Battlefront 2. Dude, have you seen some of the games that they came out with for <laughs> Burger King? Well, I mean, Fuck I can yeah. imagine that this. I mean, I can imagine they're still better than Star Wars Battlefront 2 by EA on its release. <laughs> I think Burger King had the better toys, but McDonald's had the better food, taste-wise. I, I would like to oh, see boy. Golden play Sneak King. Play what? It's it's one of the uh, games that are were made by uh, Burger King for like oh. the Xbox. Oh, I know what he's talking about. King. That's not confusing. To ah, oh, fucking King. hell! Whoa, Jesus! That was quite a fall. All right, where is that Whoa. damn thing? Where is that damn fourth chaos emerald? Oh <laughs> God! <laughs> oh, if We're I remember correctly, was that you? You would basically just run around trying to sneak up on people and scare them as the king. As the Burger King, and you give them fucking sandwiches and shit. Oh god, that Burger King thing was a nightmare. Okay. I'm somehow still better than EA Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> I mean, okay. 
I'm gonna keep saying it. Fucking You're die! Not wrong. Thank you. I'm gonna keep saying it until it's not true anymore. <laughs> Why are you booing <laughs> me? I'm right. <laughs> All right. So I dealt with him. I, I, I remember when that controversy was first going around, and like the thing that fucking pissed me off the most was when they fucking they limited the amount of credits that you earned in arcade mode you could only earn like a certain amount per day or some shit Ow. like that and, and the fucking the answer for that they said is oh we don't want people fucking grinding in arcade mode and getting better than other players i'm like oh so yeah you can't grind in oh, arcade you basically better. you want to play the fucking money. game to get better but you can spend goddamn 20 dollars and get fucking goddamn gold star gear right out the bat that's fine huh I see how it is. All right, fuck yeah. off. Fucking Piss ten, off. fucking ten hours oh, of play gosh. to get Darth Vader or one hundred dollars to EA. It was fuck forty off. hours, but yeah. God dang it, Solar got me to remember. <laughs> no, me. forty hours. Sorry. Solar got me to remember the meme the men the moment he mentioned twenty dollars. In fact, you know what I'm posting. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so over here there should be. Shit. Where did he get that? Oh Jesus. Okay. Size. Come on, baby. Don't do this. I should really me. move my meme folder to my account. I oh, now I remember. I should really make a meme folder. Wait. Here we go. I didn't enter that other area. Ow. Yeah, see, I wouldn't, I'm trying to think if I should make uh, write down like an actual like write down the actual no, damn it. explanation to my um. Oh fuck. My top ten list that I have right here. Thinking if I should or not. What the fuck? fuck? Do it. What is yeah, that I thing? Your, I saw your list. I saw your list, Jess. Pretty good. Do it. <laughs> Any me? Did you see two solar? Who? Did you see it? Oh. Um, I made a top ten list of personal favorite uh, indie games. Might have to scroll up a little bit. It's in the stream chat. Okay. You can look if you is want. Cuphead you know? really <laughs> an indie game? God damn it. Yes, Cuphead counts as an indie game. Hmm. Well, of course. I mean, it had a lot of backing from Microsoft, so that's why I'm kind of... It's mainly because it's not under the actual... Ah, oh, fucking oh. hell! It's supposed to be because indie is short for independent video games, so... I know, I just... Eh. Do you not yeah, like Cuphead or something? No, it's not that. I just I don't really see it as indie, honestly. <laughs> I feel like if it was more of a Microsoft game. Nah. Eh. It was supposed to be. It's actually supposed to be an. It's a indie game. It's on the it Switch is an now. indie game. Come to yeah. fucking Papa. Come. Oh God, the way you emphasize come. E uh, apparently. E stop. Apparently, Microsoft is uh, planning on putting a lot of its games on Steam now. Oh, I just killed two serious? guys with one shot. Holy Find shit. Find the fucking lead. <laughs> well, they're, they're planning on putting Halo on there, so... I already know Halo? that. That made me fucking oh, erect. Oh, boy. Same. Halo Reach. Uh -oh. fucking God, I'm, I'm okay, about let's... to fucking nut. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to... I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say this now. If they didn't put Halo on Steam then everyone would just ditch Microsoft entirely. Is Halo uh, Reach multiplayer for co-op? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 In fact, you can multiplayer the story mode if you want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got fucking regular multiplayer, you got Firefight, and you can co-op the second <laughs> campaign if you want. And yeah. arguably, arguably has the best custom games, too. Oh yeah, the custom oh, games on fucking game. Reach are nuts. Mm. Back mm. In the Just day when game real hardcore nuts to butts. Some of the best fucking custom games. Yeah. Like, I, I I remember when I played fucking Fat Kid. Oh man, Fat Kid Fat. was the shit. Fat Kid, Border Patrol. Mm. Oh, Border Patrol. Yeah, sh fucking Duck Hunt. I remember oh, playing Duck Hunt, Duck Hunt nonstop <laughs> when I was a kid. That's Gravity cool was pretty fun. Oh man, just oof. I can't wait to play that. In the golden age yeah. where you didn't have to have a constant online connection just to play with friends. Right? <laughs> Meanwhile, Nintendo is going in the complete opposite direction with Mario Maker 2. <clears throat> oh god, here we go again. <laughs> Are you not Everybody's... looking? Oh boy. 
One of the games that I remember, which drove me completely crazy, was the fact that, um, and, and you know, this is part of my namesake, but uh, the the whole playing uh, Diablo as a series. <laughs> they used to have something called shareware. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wasn't the full game, awesome. but you could play the okay. game with your friends, and it was online and multiplayer. <gasps> 